Hi, I'm Landon with HowToRecord101.com. Today I'm going to explain how an audio mixer works. A mixer is an important part of a recording studio or a sound system for a live production. The two basic parts of the mixer are the channel strips and the main output section. Even though a mixer might have 48 channels, don't be overwhelmed. Once you understand one channel, all of the other channels are the same. Let's start by understanding the basic path of an audio signal through the mixer. After we have plugged a microphone into channel 1, the signal goes through the trim or the pregame. This is the first place we will adjust the signal volume. This knob calibrates the input signal. Next is the insert. The insert is used for dynamic processors. We will discuss more about inserts later. Next, the input goes through the EQ section of the mixer. Here we can adjust the balance of the frequencies. We can adjust the high, mid, and low frequencies for the channel. Next, we go through the aux section of the mixer. Auxes can be used for effects processors, stage monitors, or live recording. Next, we go through the pan section. In a stereo system, the pan allows us to adjust whether the channel signal goes to the left, the right, or a mixture of the left and the right. Then the signal goes to the main channel fader. This fader allows us to fade the channel's output volume gradually from on to off. Channel assignment buttons allow us to select where the signal goes when it leaves the channel. Typically, we will assign the channel to go either to the main output or a subgroup. We will discuss the individual parts of the channel strip in the next video. It is important that you understand the channel strip and the signal path through the audio mixer. It is important not to have the signal clip or be too loud in any part of the channel path. For more details about channel strips, sound, and recording, you can check us out at howtorecord101.com. I'm Landon Grace. Thanks for watching.